Do you want to control how your diary is sold in order to maximize your space? Res Diaries Rules Tool is a powerful feature in the diary that maximizes the resources of your venue whenever a booking is made, whether online or internally. This tutorial will show you how to create a new rule and make changes to an existing rule. To bring up the rules menu, from your diary, click settings and from the table management section, click rules. The rules menu features all the rules you have saved in your diary. On the top left, there is a drop down that lets you filter your rules by their status. The table below shows you basic information about each of your rules. The disk shows whether it's enabled or disabled. The name of the rule, its description, the type of rule, which segment and service it affects, the channel, whether this rule can be overridden, and an edit icon. By clicking this, you'll be able to make changes in the rule settings. Finally, in the top right, there is a create new rule button. To create a new rule, click the create new rule button. This will bring up the rule settings and is broken up into two tabs. On the info tab, you can set the basic properties of the rule. First, give your rule a clear name and description. The type button is the most important setting when creating a rule. Each type opens its own set of options on the right. For a covers per table rule, the tables of dropdown sets which table size this rule applies to by specifying the number of covers a table holds. If the table has that number or more covers, it will be affected by the rule. The only allow bookings of dropdown sets the lowest amount of covers the diary will accept for a table of that number of covers. Rules like this are used to stop tables being undersold. For a maximum booking size rule, the do not allow bookings of dropdown sets the maximum number of covers that can be booked. This rule is commonly used to stop large bookings taking up multiple tables at peak times, thus limiting the amount of covers that can be turned during a service. For a minimum booking size rule, the minimum booking size dropdown lets you set the lowest number of guests you will take. This rule is commonly used when you only want to take parties of a certain size or over, like no tables of one on a busy Saturday night. All of these rule types will have rules applies to checkboxes, which let you select which days of the week the rule applies to. Once you have set your type and its options, you'll need to set the channel the rules affect, whether internal or online or both. It is important to note that users with the right permission will be able to break rules as they see fit. Finally, you can set the status of the rule to enabled for it to take effect on the diary. In the Segment Service tab, you can select which segments and services this rule will affect. By clicking on the status disk, this will activate the adjustment icon. By clicking on the adjustment icon, you will open a pop-up that gives you further controls over your rule. The Enable for Time and Day section gives you a grid of checkboxes for each of your time slots on each day so that you can isolate very specific times at which the rule will kick in, like at peak times of the week. If you are not able to make changes here, make sure that you have selected specific days in the Rules Apply To section. The Automated Override section lets you set a time period ahead of a service that the rule is switched off, allowing you to undersell tables if you still have availability. This feature can be set to specific days of the week. Once you're happy with your selections here, click Update and you'll be able to save your new rule. Many restaurateurs use the Rules function to ensure tables are not undersold or oversold and put extra controls in for busy services like Fridays or Saturdays. If you're having any issues or have any questions, you can find more information about rules on the Knowledge Base or get support anytime by raising a ticket.